So, uh, welcome back. Where we last left off, I got a little bit distracted. Sorry about that. Um, some things came up, but I was in the middle of talking about uh, man versus machine, and then that was leading into talking about visual display and information display, which is kind of a sub genre of graphic design. Information display is the part of graphic design that is focused on how do you um, how do you create visuals that explain and show really complicated and large amounts of information so things like it uh, could be things like you know how do you um, explain really complicated scientific information in a visual manner or things like how do you make a map for the new york subway anything that involves lots of complicated um, series of information is part of uh, visual display as a field edward tuft is a famous um, graphic design professor, I think he taught at Cornell, who was very much the, like the guru of uh, visual display. He wrote a number of books, including uh, Visual Explanations. And in Visual Explanations, he covers a lot of different topics, but one of the things he talks about is the Challenger, the space shuttle uh, disaster. And he explains how if the if the information that the engineers were presenting to the managers about how the O-rings were close to failing if they had if they had done it in a better graphic format if they had done used better graphic design the managers would have understood immediately that the that the challenger was close to you know that, that the space shuttle system was close to failing and that they needed to scrap the mission but instead because of the way they displayed it the information looked not very disturbing at all even though it was the exact same numbers the same information but visually it didn't communicate the severity of the problem um, so he also is famous for um, hating PowerPoint passionately um, so we'll talk about that maybe later uh, here's an example of, uh, of Tuftian explanation of uh, visual display um, discussing the life and the product productivity of uh, Rubat Schumann and how it related to his uh, mental health crises. Um, and here's another uh, graphic designer who's also quite much associated with the visual display movement or the visual display part of graphic design, uh, Ladislav Sutner, who uh, makes beautiful work. Um, and here's another piece by Sutner, as well as probably one of the most famous examples of information display and probably one of the most um, practical uh, forms of information display, which is the New York City subway map, uh, that if any of you who've ever been in New York City or used a subway map or seen versions of this map on the, um, on the wall in a subway car, uh, it is just an incredibly useful um, system, even though it's not at all accurate about a lot of the details of the system it's extremely accurate about all the parts that need to be accurate you know exactly what line you're going to take to get to where and which line is going to be the fastest way to get there um, another thing i want to talk about is um, concept products when we talk about concept a lot um, in the industrial design world concept means something a little bit different concept means how you uh, can create a thing to uh, represent an idea of what you want to make. Um, so concept design or concept products are not products necessarily that are actually ever going to be made. Um, they're instead products that you make to then convince someone something like this should be made or maybe eventually. And probably the most extreme version of that would be uh, concept cars where a lot of concept cars aren't they're not even like prototypes they're not they're not concepts of like what we're going to make three years down the line or five years down the line they're instead like uh, a statement about this is where in general we see the future of the car industry going and an exploration of ideas but this actual design will never get made no one will ever drive uh, a in these cars, you know, at least no one other than the, those uh, special people who work in that industry will ever get to drive these cars. Pretty cool. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is concept art. Uh, concept art is often a misunderstood part of the field of um, animation and movies and um, sequential art, like um, storyboarding. 
people often are confused as to what is concept art. Concept art is the art that people make in the process of like, let's say making a game or making a movie where in the middle of the process, someone needs to make an image that represents something about this is what we think these characters are about or this is what we think this scene is about. Um, so some concept art is very much designed at kind of selling a project to a set of investors or producers. So concept art like this, which is an early on concept art for Guardians of the Galaxy, this would have been used kind of in the early stages when the writers were selling the project, saying this is how we see this project developing and this is what we think it's going to look like. Whereas concept art like these are much more in the midst of making the movie. The project is already going, the script has already been approved, the filming has already started. So like the one on the right here, the concept art here is about getting, like you set down a bunch of artists and you ask them, this is how the scene looks like and this is what we envision it verbally, how we envision it looking. Make some artwork where you try to visualize that look. And then they do that and then when you come up with a concept art that everyone likes and everyone's like oh that's perfect that's exactly how we envision this scene then you hand that art to your lighting guys to your costume guys to your set designers right to all the different designers and artists who work on making that scene and the cinematographer and they all have these concept arts as guides as to oh this is what we're going for this is what we want this look to look like right um and similarly, also with um, concept art can also be very much a form of character development art where, let's say, for model artists or for, once again, for costume artists um, and CGI artists, it's a device to say, this is how we see this character. Try to come up with something that you can construct that will come as close to that as possible. Okay, that's where we end. Thank you very much.